In general, um, adequate calcium intake uh, for good bone health is in the range of 1,000 to 1,200 milligrams per day. We generally recommend that calcium intake is mainly from dietary sources. However, there are some people who are not able to obtain that adequate amount of calcium intake through their diet and therefore may need to supplement with uh, supplement, uh, calcium supplements. Um, so in general, I would say uh, that if you're someone who's generally healthy, between 1 to 1,000, sorry, 1,000 to 1,200 milligrams of calcium would be adequate. So in general, um, when we're under the age of 50 and we don't, uh, we normally say about 1,000 milligrams per day is probably adequate unless you have certain medical conditions that affect your calcium and vitamin D metabolism. But generally after menopause, especially during that menopausal transition when you are going through that, through that rapid phase of bone loss, um, is probably during that time you need to be, uh, be very good about getting enough calcium and usually in that range of 1200 milligrams per day, preferably from dietary sources, would be recommended. In terms of vitamin D, for most people who live in North America with our you know, limited uh, sun exposure <laughs> and, and our long winters, uh, most people who are under the age of 50 would be uh, recommending uh, between 400 to uh, 1,000 units of vitamin D supplementation per day. If you're someone who's older than 50 years old, and in particular if you have osteoporosis, then you probably do need higher doses of vitamin D supplements between 800 to 2,000 units per day. There has been a lot of um, controversy over the topic of calcium supplements and heart disease. And this is based upon some publications uh, that have shown that there is an association between people who take calcium supplements and the risk of cardiovascular disease, in, partic in particular heart attacks. However, these studies um, have, you know, have some issues in terms of methodology and there has been other studies that have refuted that. So in general, we know that there seems to be some association between calcium supplements and possibly with heart disease. However, there is no cause and effect. Um, it's just an association. Nevertheless, because of that possible concern, Again, the main recommendation is that you try to strive for your calcium intake through dietary sources rather than calcium supplements. I think that there are some people who are overdoing it with calcium supplements. Uh, they are getting sufficient amount from their diet, yet also taking extra calcium supplements. And the other risk for taking too much calcium is that you could be at, at high risk for kidney stones. And I think that is much more of a concern. Than, than this controversy over the heart disease.